everyone, I'm on the floor today. Um, school has been hard. Um, I don't really feel like recording. You can't see anything. This is a sports bra, so it's okay. I just feel like lying down on the floor because I went down to run. Um, I went down to run for a while and then do some exercises to make myself feel better because I've been just feeling horrible. Can you hear panting sounds? Do you know who I have next to me? Hey! Hey, little boy. Come here. Look here. Come on. Pudding. Pudding. Hey. Aren't you gonna look at me? Are you gonna look at me? Huh? Come here. See, that's my little baby. Yep. He wants to go out. Because usually we don't let him in the room. So that's why he's like, Oh, I don't want to be on the camera. Do you want to be on the camera? Hmm? Do you know who is in there? But dang. Are you gonna look at me? Oh. Hey. But dang. See, that's my cute little boy. He's like eight years old. Yeah, he is eight years old. So he's getting a little bit old. I got him when I was like when when he was only a few months old. So was it? Yeah. And outside it's so hot. Like in here is air conditioned, that's why he's panting so much. So he's an old boy. Anyway. Well, school has been really hard. Okay, wait. Do you want to go out? Hmm? You want to go out? Come on. I'll open the door. Let's see if he's going to go out. See? Oh. He went out. He went out right away. Because he's not comfortable in the room. Usually, um, he cannot go... He stays in the living room. Uh, he cannot go to the go into the kitchen. Um, in the past, he did try to go into the kitchen and get scolded. He cannot go into the corridor. He cannot go into bedrooms because um, he just tends to be a little bit dirty. That's why we keep him that way. Oh my god! I just see the mess at the back. This is my clothes hanger, and this is my closet. Oh, and. An interesting story, it's like, okay, if you can see that this side, it's a glazed glass. I think it's glass. This side is empty. Um, there we put the plastic sheet on top because what happened was um, I overdosed once and then I woke up... Uh, and I was in a daze. That time I overdosed quite a lot. So I woke up, I walked to my door, and then I fainted onto the glass. Yes. I hit my head onto the glass, and it broke the glass. So that's what happened. And if you're, if you're wondering if I hurt myself, the strange thing was that I didn't. I broke the glass, really. It shattered into pieces. Uh, it wasn't a glass. It's the kind of glass that is safe. I, I, I don't really know what kind of glass it was. But what happened was that, yeah, I smashed into it. It broke into pieces. Uh, right away, my mom came in uh, with my brother's help. And then I was sent to the hospital. And they did the CT scan on me and all that. But I turned out fine. Like, I was still sleepy and all that, but it wasn't from a concussion. I didn't hurt myself, I didn't cut myself. Um, and yeah, for the overdose, I went to the hospital. So and it was quite amazing that I didn't cut myself. Even my psychiatrist was like, what? She smashed the glass and she didn't hurt herself. So anyway but then i did have some headache for quite a while 
Um, that happened at least two years ago, but we never get the glass glass replaced because we just don't feel okay. We never thought about it, and it's fine the way it is. <laughs> yeah, um, and then you see all the glass painting. All the glass painting here. They are made when I was in the hospital because they have occupational therapy and back then they used to do glass painting that's why uh, and now now they don't run it anymore they have like colorings they have calligraphy just all the boring stuff which I'm no longer interested in so I just read my books and and then I don't go down to the occupational therapy um, anyway this is just a really random blog I'm just really blog really bored and I wasn't in the mood uh, in the mood to like record things so sorry about that and then lives have just been boring I'm just trying to get through school it's really hard it's stressful like I want to skip the class but then I'll be thinking that I'm gonna miss it I'm gonna be anxious that I missed the stuff um, but some class I have to go I just try to make myself go to the class no matter how hard it is I'd wait for the time to pass it really suck so anyway um thank you to those of you who subscribed to me um and then also uh what i'm trying to say thank you for watching this video uh if you have any suggestions for me or uh, question for me you can comment down below and let me know i will answer them i will or maybe i'll try to do a video on them so thank you for watching see you